days are never ending When the nights are feeling lonely There's a place that I can go Where the birds are free to roam In the sky, flying high Over fields of green and Where the stars inside the sky Where the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on and on Where the stars inside the sky We're the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on and on Hello Aquarius this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 27th of November until the 3rd of December 2017. The first card for you is representing. How do you feel about yourself? Your card is. The Five of Pentacles. If you have suffered a loss, know that there are people around you who are willing to help. There is always a solution and always a way out, so either open your eyes and go to it, or close your eyes and let the inner light guide you. Often, what has caused these financial problems is a matter of your own emotions, greed will lead to loss, anxiety will lead to error, possessiveness will lead to solitude. By focusing on the material, you lose sight of your spiritual development. You may be rich for a while but all will be lost if you learn nothing. On a psychological level, there may be a difficulty with your relationship to money and material things. If money becomes the primary motivating force in life and the gauge by which you judge your worth, the lack of it may produce anxiety and a sense of being excluded from the good things money can provide. For example, if you are unfortunate enough to encounter financial difficulties such as the loss of employment or an investment gone belly up, you may fall into the trap of losing faith in your ability to recreate a positive financial situation for yourself. Therefore, you should not only consider your actual financial circumstances but also your attitudes toward money. What fears do you have around money and wealth? Are you anxious about never having enough, or do you have faith in your ability to manifest what you need to live a prosperous, fulfilled life no matter what your circumstances? Often wealth is based as much on your psychological state as your actual financial state. In a world that often equates success with financial wealth, the loss shown on the Five of Pentacles can be a humbling blow to your self-esteem and sense of self-worth. This loss can occur in any number of ways but even though an external event may seem to be the cause, this card often reflects that the loss is something you have brought upon yourself. There is a spiritual loss that often precedes or accompanies loss of material wealth. The Five of Pentacles can also point to a time of being alone feeling abandoned, ignored and unwanted. You may be excluded from group events or you are being ostracized by others. You are in desperate need of support and comfort from those who actually care. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the two of wands. What do you want most right now is to take your idea and turn it into a feasible plan that you know will lead to your success. It is no longer just an idea but you now have a plan in place to ensure that your idea is carried out as you had intended. The Two of Wands is also about discovery, particularly as you step outside of your comfort zone and explore new worlds and new experiences. It may take some courage to take the first step but this card gives you the confidence of self-knowledge. You know what your goal is, what your creative process is directing for you, and you are confident in its eventual fulfillment. The Two of Wands indicates that you will begin to consider your longer-term goals and aspirations and will plan ahead for what you need to do to achieve these goals. You have already come so far but now you feel it is ready for a change, 
this time with your long-term future in mind. You may be considering overseas travel, further education or a major career change at this point in order to expand your learning and development, and to grow your horizons beyond your immediate environment. With careful planning, and a moderated approach, you will set yourself up for success in the future. The twos in tarot often represent decisions of some sort. In the case of the two of wands, you are making a decision between sticking with what you know, or expanding your horizons and taking a risk. You know that the world has to offer you something bigger or more meaningful, yet you are also aware that in order to maximize on this opportunity, you must leave your familiar grounds. Even though you have already invested a lot into your current circumstances, for you to be able to grow and to maximize your potential, it is imperative that you step out into a new world and explore your options. This card shows the patience and focus of your intent. You have got the ball rolling and have started out on your journey, so now it is time to patiently wait for your rewards and watch as your ideas begin to materialize. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the six of cups. You are afraid that the issues from your past came out to the open. It is important to explore the memories of your past but do not get stuck there. Your ideas and beliefs that were established in the past may be prohibiting your progress. Use your past as a guide for your future, and focus on living in the present. You may have had unrealistically rosy ideas about a particular stage of life, based on your dreams and ideals from when you were younger. For example, you may have always pictured yourself as married with children by 25, only to realize that once you hit 25, you had other goals in mind. Or you may be disappointed that you have reached a particular age but have not fulfilled your childhood dreams just yet. Sometimes, the Six of Cups can indicate child abuse or sexual abuse sustained as a young person. You may still be working through these issues and trying to release yourself from the harmful memories. Alternatively, you may be working with others who have repressed memories from their childhood and who need your support. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the Page of Wands. You are experiencing a creative restlessness within you that is just waiting for some sort of expression, or, you may be on the verge of some sort of discovery or new phase of life. The Page of Wands represents the sudden creative spark that comes to you, suddenly and unexpectedly, and that starts you down the road of a new creative vision. Thus, he encourages you to express yourself and your individuality with light-hearted abandon. Listen to your unconscious mind and follow your creative urges, even if you are worried about being the lonely voice crying out in the wilderness. With persistence and a balanced perspective even the immature desires of the page of wands can be transformed into a beautiful creative vision that can change the world. Similarly, the Page of Wands indicates that you need to be positive and spontaneous but not overly impulsive. Your enthusiasm impresses others but if you become impatient or quick to anger or ooze interest, you will put others offside and you will waste time in your creative projects. With the Page of Wands, you are inclined to give anything and everything a go. If you are enthusiastic or passionate enough, you embrace the opportunity to start out on a new journey or project and see where it takes you. You do not necessarily have a solid plan in place, nor do you really know where you are headed but you do know that you are excited about the possibilities. You are enjoying being busy and involved in various activities and projects. You like the freedom of being able to choose what you will work on today and hopefully it is different from what you worked on the day before. Oftentimes, the Page of Wands is a messenger, bringing you inspiring or unexpected news, new information or a welcome surprise. 
It may be the birth of a child, a new and inspiring idea that a friend has, or a new opportunity for you to be involved in to change the world such as a community project. His news is nearly always positive and welcomed because it is often associated with change and creation. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the four of cups. There is a good possibility that an offer will come your way but you must work hard to go out and get it. It is sitting right under your nose, so make sure you snap it up before you miss out. You may also be too focused on your own issues that you completely miss this opportunity or are unaware that it even exists. Keep your eyes and heart open to new possibilities and release some of the focus on yourself to allow new opportunities to appear. The Four of Cups also reflects a time when you may be reluctant to open your heart to someone or to express your true feelings, instead withdrawing and isolating yourself from the other person. Be mindful of how this may be impacting those who are close to you and be considerate of their needs as well as your own. On a more positive note, if you have been going through a period of stagnation, boredom or apathy, you will begin to feel restless with this state of being, and will want to break free from this rut. Put aside any negative thoughts or sulky behavior. Embrace the opportunities that are already being offered to you. Reconnect with others and let them know how much you appreciate them. The last card for you is representing the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is the Page of Pentacles. Now is the time to start acting on all of those grand ideas and concepts that have been brewing in your imagination. Now is the time to make them real. You need to grow and expand in a way that generates prosperity and wealth for the future. You are just at the beginning of a new project or venture that will require you to remain focused on tangible outcomes and results. Be clear on what skills and resources you will require in order to draw wealth and abundance to you. The Page of Pentacles has the desire to learn all things. He is dedicated to knowledge and the attainment of wisdom and new skills. He is devoted to all in which he is engaged and he has great concentration in his interests and pursuits. Thus, the appearance of this card suggests that success will come to you after you have mastered new skills and have set your mind to achieving specific, tangible goals. You may need to consider further study, expanding your skill sets at work, or learning completely new ways of doing things. Do not be afraid to be the apprentice again, even if you are a master of another domain. Think of those 70-year-olds who enthusiastically start a university degree. The more skills you bring to your portfolio, the more goals and dreams you can achieve. Sometimes, the Page of Pentacles can represent a young person who has an entrepreneurial spirit. This person may be eager to attain wealth by pursuing a new business idea, by learning new skills or by applying themselves to a new situation. This page might be young but there is also great enthusiasm, commitment, dedication and a strong sense of responsibility to see the project through. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is The Pure White Dragon from Orion a pure white dragon of Orion has come to you today to advise you to examine what you know with enlightened eyes. Process any information you are working with through your right brain to discover how to use it for the highest good. The high frequency dragons from Orion will be with you to help you with this process. They will allow you to advance your spiritual growth and expand your wings of light. When you hold white in your aura, people trust and respect you. This card calls on you to speak your truth, act with honesty and be totally honorable in all your dealings. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.